Alrighty, hello everybody, coming to you live from deep in the heart of Texas. Stellar Vision here. I'm gonna play some Outer Worlds. For a little bit. I don't, I'm actually pretty tired. I ate like a bunch of pizza earlier. And pizza just kind of puts me out most of the time. Did you ever worry all that ammo in your berth might combust? What? Wait, that it can do that. All it takes wait, is what? a little bit of black powder next to a lot of bits of fertilizer and one real hot day, and oh, I've seen it happen. I don't know what's more unsettling the concept of my ammunition spontaneously combusting or the fact that this is the kind of thing you think about on the regular. Do some other stuff first before continuing the main story. A fake window. Where's my character at? What job did the board assign you when you came of age? Bet it was something real. Oh, there's sand jar. Professional flexing. Wilderness patrol. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna and halcyon. What can I do for you today? You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix a thing his own self and busted it even worse? And then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's stalking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience. <laughs> Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on a rafted on acid. Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis worm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. 
Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. I couldn't. What if he said no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. We'll Plus, see. He's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. Not in Stellar Bay. Everyone else who isn't taken either smells like Saltuna or they're my boss. Besides, a man with a good smile and a proportionate upper to lower body ratio isn't something to pass up. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Guess let's go talk to him. Velma seem out of sorts. Let's see what's up. Hey Velma, I got your cabinoid pills. Hey, that's not You're a life saver. Oh, is that just like a joke? We're not actually gonna go. Talk to the guy for him for her. Give you a hard time. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my auto loader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Oh, yeah. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. Does that about cover it? No, I paid Sublight for it, so it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Sure can, if you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. I got a feeling you and Catherine would get on like tumors on a pig. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Something else on your mind? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals. But he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Creative notions of working hours. Yes, you're just always working. Whenever you're an employee of Sublight. Or any of the companies in this game. <laughs> I 
I can't keep working double shifts either. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. And pay them more. Because we've got a budget, all right? And in case you haven't noticed, MSI doesn't exactly have a lot of spare bits on hand. Not on Monarch. Sanjar threw out the old work mandates and penalties. Sure. Until your workers start making ridiculous demands. Fine by me. Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics you use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's shifts. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the cell tuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Mostly. Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. Yeah. Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. I'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent, neither. Caleb and his crew have it better mm -hmm. than anyone else around here, Probably. I'll tell you that much. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Maybe so, but I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then he'll have to come back. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diner. You steal from your own people? That's low, man. That's business. Someone's got to keep the lights on. Wow. Fine by Terrible.
Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Hopefully I can just talk to them and not, like, convince them to go back to work if they, like, don't want to. I can't say for certain, since I only ever been on this one. New face, huh? You from Offworld? A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered, free of responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all, having to work longer shifts for less bits. And the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quota. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. The others wanted to blackmail her. But we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know. But, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know. But if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave Sublight even more dominion and stellar bay. All right. Well, that was productive, I think. got different Saltuna here on Monarch. Ain't that neat? You come to Monarch and that's what you're excited about. You ought to get out more. I'm getting that right now. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't make me talk like that.
Oh, there's still like a dead body in here. Startle me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Braxton. I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you. Sorry. Oh. In that case, he told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Oh, family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So, maybe look for him there? Poor fella. Hope he's okay. We should hurry, Captain. Oh, I totally gotta turn around. Those walk, I think. So Ada isn't really alive, but it sorry. She can still talk like a person. What about Sam? What's it? Sorry. He? Is he the same thing? Sam's an auto mechanical thing, not a computer brain thing like Ada. I don't think Sam understands gender, so you can call him it if you want. Right, but she's a machine, he's a machine. How are they different? You know how I said Ada was special? Her wiring's a whole lot more complex than Sam's, so she can simulate a personality better than he can. She got more tools in her box, so to speak. I might have been just like a visitor turning out for a what second. An unexpected surprise. Please come in. Come in. I'm getting real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. The Edgewater deserters were perfectly nice, and they lived outside the city walls. Well, maybe not Adelaide, but everyone else. That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. Something ain't right about this. Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? You know, the ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on the front. They don't taste very good, but they make me feel so nice. Hungry, too. That's too bad. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. I don't know. 
I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. The way she said that reminded me of a rat licking its chops. Be careful. For sodden asshole. Ain't enough that the rats eat everyone. Now people are doing it too. I'm gonna be sick. Yeah. I remember this doing. I remember doing this one the first time I tried to play this game. What's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Quickly, my dear. She's getting agitated. We can't let the meat spoil. Don't worry. We'll make this quick. Ah! Coming! Ah! Getting through! My controller was just acting weird. I don't know what it is, but my gun's been acting funny. Used to be, I had to correct for a bit of leftward drag. Got used to standing just so, and after a while, it put a thorn in my side, something awful. Lately, though, it ain't pulling. I find my stance much improved. Oh, that's real good to hear. It took me a while to... Uh, never mind. What? Girl, have you been touching my stuff? I'm sorry, I should have asked. I just got real bored, and I seen you leaning, and the gun was sitting right there. You know, the last time I caught someone messing with my equipment, I threw them in a sulfur pool. But I appreciate the help. 
you want to make modifications, just come ask me, all right? I ain't gonna bite. <laughs> I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. I'm spatting your spirits, Velma. You notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. I could be seeing triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. Well, you try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades old equipment and see what it does for your disposition. Anyway, what do you folks need? That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? All right, uh... Wait, is that the... Let me go talk to him again. About that. I don't want to actually take, like, his money that he was talking about. I mean, that she was talking about. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave Sublight even more dominion than Stellar Bay.
Easy. It looks so easy. Need okay, I need a hack fifty five. For that. Yeah, I can go do some other stuff, because I can get my hack up to that level, next level up. What did Stellar Base Engineer name your candy sheet?
Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? Can't hope she'd accept my decision. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Vantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Uh. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. You know, that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. I know it sounds extreme, but I can't go back. I just can't. This is the only way I can think of to be free. I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? Oh, right. Uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring worn it ever since he died. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way. back please tell me you found my baby boy where is he where's my little tucker uh i don't know I don't know. I, I don't normally do this, but I kind of want to just save right now.
case this is just like a really bad option. Oh, you're back. Please tell me you found my baby boy. Where is he? Where's my little Tucker? What are you saying? That, that doesn't make any sense. Why would my little boy say that? Thinking my little boy was dead would be easier? On who? This doesn't sound like my Tucker at all. How do I know you're not lying? This was his daddy's ring. Tucker never takes it off, not even to bathe. And you're saying he gave this to you so I think he died? I need to think about this. I don't understand how it's all gone so wrong. Here's the reward I promised. Please, just leave me in peace. Well, I think I did the, be the better option. I don't know. Kind of a hard decision there. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Mostly fresh? Sebastian, you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillars ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen. But I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. Must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Manipillars ain't got pheromone sacks. I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. You're in good hands, traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rat glands or manti claws, I've got you covered. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. She's smite of it. Smote? Smoot? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit, on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia? I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nanbi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you.
Overlap and Cascadia. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Tell him that the radio tower is not being used. It's from Tori. Or wait, I don't. This is what I remember. It's I remember. How the hell do I get up there? Here's stairs. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem in the end? We did what we could as best we could. Should probably leave it at that. Hmm, is that so? Oh, I believe it will, but the price I pay won't be to you. No, we've a bigger deal to settle. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. 
I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. Captain! Big flaming thingy! Oh, what? What the fuck? Okay, I would love to go figure out what happened, but I am like having a hard time staying awake. Wait, I wanted to I wanted to play for longer, but not possible. But I'm glad I did play something tonight. Anyway, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, I hope everybody has a stellar night.